Hello, we are talking about project business and uh, now we take the concept of a business model up and uh, elaborate that a little bit and ask how uh, business models can help in explaining uh, the business content with projects. Okay, let's look first what is a business model. Um, it's a system of uh, interdependent activities that defines how a company operates and how it produces value and what are actually its interfaces towards customers, partners and suppliers. So how the company is a kind of a connected to other companies. And uh, in the lower part of this picture, uh, um, we emphasize that the framework business model is a kind of a framework uh, that focuses especially the most relevant activities of a firm, but also relevant differences between firms. So competitive advantage is, for example, rather important uh, that we aim to so that the firm can compete with others and can be very competitive uh, among its customers and so on. Um, and uh, that's uh, why uh, the kind of a value and, uh, and, and the kind of a competitive advantage is the ultimate uh, aim when we are talking about uh, uh, business and, and business development in, 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 in general. Well, let's look at uh, a typical business model that is now characterized here by uh, the business model canvas that originally was uh, developed by uh, Osterwalder. And uh, in this canvas, we can see that uh, in the middle, there is a value proposition, offering of value proposition. And uh, to the right, there is customer, customer relationships, customer segments. So we are uh, creating value uh, for the customer. And uh, to the left, uh, there are uh, the suppliers uh, or key resources, uh, subcontractors that we use in a network to uh, create uh, value for the customer. And in the bottom, there, there is a kind of a cash register. So there are revenue streams. Customers are willing to pay us uh, for uh, the value that they get. And also uh, in the bottom, uh, to the left side of the picture, there is the cost structure, uh, the costs that incur uh, through uh, using the resources and uh, delivering uh, the actual offering or, 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 or value for the customer. Okay, we can uh, simplify this uh, as this picture where uh, at the bottom there is the profit uh, profit making logic and uh, uh, at the top there is kind of a supply chain like uh, uh, stream where it starts from network of partners and suppliers, our own companies, core capabilities in the middle and uh, the customer to the right. And there in between there are the relationships. Okay, between us, our core capabilities and the customer there is the offering or value proposition or value making logic. We can consider that that is a kind of a relationship also. Uh, but also it is rather important to uh, recognize that when we are doing projects, uh, we very seldom can uh, actually do the project uh, by our own resources only, but we need partners and we need suppliers and so on. And we must have good relationships also to the network of our uh, partners and contractors and suppliers. Uh, so 
relationships are rather uh, important. Okay, what I want uh, now to emphasize uh, when we have been looking at uh, the concept of a business model and how business models could look like. First, uh, firms use projects to renew their businesses. So we must understand what the firm's business model is when we are uh, taking on a project to develop the business of a firm. But also uh, the business model concept and this framework is useful to look at the project as a business of its own right. So when the project is a temporary organization, like uh, the firm is a permanent organization, if you like, uh, then uh, we can use this business model to model the activities in a project, in a single project even, and uh, ask that what is uh, the value proposition of a project for its customer, and what are uh, the pa partners and suppliers of uh, the project uh, to use the capabilities to deliver that value to the project's customer. In the same similar manner, we can use this analogy as we can use the business model to uh, describe uh, the business of the firm that we can then develop or renew through projects. Okay, uh, I hope that this helps and I hope that this also is useful as a kind of a tool to uh, model things that projects do. Um, looking forward uh, to continuing discussing with you in the next video lectures. Bye.